Well, last Saturday saw the first Oregon State champions crown in boys and girls soccer since November of 2019. Fox 12's Nick Krupke puts our high school spotlight on a senior from Catlin Gable who is winning on and off the pitch for the Eagles. It's a little bittersweet, but happy to end on undefeated season. Carter still got room, gonna wind, fire, shot, goal. That's Rueda. Catlin Gable's senior Felipe Rueda added something fresh to his ongoing collection of championship bling. It's more than just a team. It's a really the program and the school that we're representing out there, and I take it with pride. The 17-year-old leader from the 17-0 club notched three goals and three assists in the Eagles' 3A, 2A, 1A crown over the weekend a 14th in program history, a third in Felipe's outstanding prep career after no big blue OSWA trophies were handed out a year ago. Soccer has always been my way to, it's always been there for me, form of therapy, you know, uh, people say when you get out on the field, all your problems go away. And so throughout when COVID started, soccer was my outlet. It was the one thing I could do. CG's girls and boys relish the moments to celebrate as state queens and kings, just like they did two seasons ago. Just like sophomore year, so it was awesome. We saw their game, obviously an amazing shot in the last minute that they scored, and our game was a little more one-sided, but it was a great feeling. Rueda's 41 goal and 19 assist season now readies himself to leave the nest and become a polar bear. Doesn't get much better than that. But yeah, you gotta get some polar bear. Again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You're gonna win every 50 50. You're gonna win the ball. Following up his club season with United PDX, Felipe is set to play for Division Three Bowdoin College in Brunswick, Maine. It was a, you know, a school I could only dream of going to. Excellent in academics and athletics, and it was everything I was looking for. A tight campus and small community, just like sweet home Catlin Gable. I want to study uh, economics and neuroscience, double major. I've always been interested in the intersectionality between both. Uh, I've also enjoyed philosophy, and so Bowdoin, they have a cool program that uh, you know, with the liberal arts curriculum that delves into all of those at once. The Rueda family moved to the States from Colombia before Felipe was born. My parents instilled values of hard work, discipline. You have to earn everything. You know, nothing's given to you. The youngest eagle in the Rueda flock made his way from Hillsborough to Catlin Gable, thanks to the Palma Scholars Program. You know, the four pillars of the program are academic success, leadership, community service and athletics. Felipe gives back to as an assistant coach for the Portland Community Football Club. They provide uh, soccer training, a team, an environment for refugee and low-income students who are primarily minority in the Portland, Portland metropolitan area to grow as, you know, soccer players, but also as humans. So I go there, I, you know, coach them, I mentor them, and it's it's an amazing experience. Plenty more experiences are on the horizon with our high school spotlight from Catlin Gables Eagles, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon. If you have a local prep athlete in mind who deserves some recognition in the spotlight, just drop Nick a line so they can be featured right here on Good Day Oregon.